Colorado Republicans tried and failed to find evidence of election rigging here. Now two investigations are looking into whether Republicans themselves improperly or illegally got inside the voting system. Conspiracy theorists are hailing Mesa County's Republican clerk Tina Peters as a hero for the public release of voting system data from her county. Well, now Mesa County has to pay for new secured voting equipment or count their votes by hand. Here's Marshall Zellinger. To be very clear, Mesa County clerk and recorder allowed a security breach and by all, uh, by all evidence at this point assisted it. Colorado's Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold believes Republican Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters is partially responsible for voting system passwords ending up online as part of a conspiracy theory to prove election fraud in Colorado. The voting equipment currently in Mesa County can no longer be used. The state cannot verify who had access to 41 pieces of voting equipment in Mesa County after they were updated and certified on May 25th. Griswold said video surveillance watching the machines had been turned off one week prior and stayed off until recently, and that the county let a mystery man attend the upgrade while passing him off as an employee. This demo video from the Secretary of State's website shows the types of machines now deemed no good in Mesa County. Touchscreen voting devices, ballot scanners, and election workstations and servers. To be very clear, these machines will have to be replaced or Mesa County will have to do a hand count. It was a solo, intentional, and selfish act. Matt Crane is the head of the Colorado County Clerks Association. The former Republican Arapahoe County clerk stopped short of saying Peters, an elected leader, should resign. We've heard people say that this is a heroic act. To be clear, there is nothing heroic or honorable about what happened in Mesa County. If you want to know who the true heroes are in Colorado elections, it's the other 63 county clerk and recorders and their teams. So if we only know about the Mesa County breach because it was blogged about, how does the state know the machines in the other 63 counties are good to go? We have no reason to believe uh, at all that this is a widespread issue. Um, there is multiple reasons as to that, some of which I cannot comment on because of the criminal investigation. It reminds me of the devil's advocate, trust but verify. The Secretary of State pointed out multiple times no one person has the keys to the castle, that there are dual passwords and other measures to maintain security. But again, we only know about this because it showed up on a website, which mm -hmm. was the point of my question. 63 other counties haven't shared information, if they did anything, to be posted somewhere. So have we checked? So you will hear a lot of Republicans these days try to distance themselves and their party from the whole bonker stuff about China rigged the election, Antifa rigged the election. Not a lot of them speaking out against what happened in Mesa County, though. I know that today some were waiting to see what she was going to say at what we were calling the pillow conference. Matt Crane is the only one so far who is a Republican that was very explicit in saying this is not good but didn't say she should resign because it's still premature, he said. But yes, the silence from everywhere else, you would think that, that no matter what, you could say, we shouldn't be doing it this way, and people would stand up and say otherwise. I'd, I don't know why not. Yeah, no response today from the state Republican Party, the county Republican Party, Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, who represents that area, although the Republican county commissioners did say they're going to talk to their lawyers tomorrow. Thank you, Marshall.